when you carve a santo, you have to be in the right frame of mind because it's actually like a form of prayer. At the end, you're tired, but you feel very good about what you accomplished, and it's the greatest feeling. Santos are painted and carved figures which represent Catholic saints. They are revered as holy objects of devotion and primarily made for altars in private homes and churches. These santos speak about worship and appreciation, about hope and triumph over personal struggle, about coping with temptation and loss, and about family and love. The Santos tradition is grounded in Spanish Catholicism. Centuries ago, Spanish missionaries brought it to the Americas, and today it flourishes throughout a vast region, including Mexico, Guatemala, and the American Southwest. Felix Lopez is a distinguished Santero from northern New Mexico. He is an artist, a father, and a mentor. I certainly didn't plan to be a santero uh, because I pursued a, a different profession. But the observances of uh, my father's death in 1975 left a very uh, deep impression on me. What graced my father's uh, casket inside that sacred space were not wreaths of flowers, but the santos. While I had taken the Santos for granted all my life, during those two days of those observances, the Santos had a presence for me. They actually spoke to me. And then I started to observe them a lot closer in the churches, and they were kind of my inspiration at the very beginning. In noticing these images from the past, I've noticed that they're usually very high-waisted, uh, elongated figures. To me, uh, an elongated figure it has more grace, and I seek to bring out a calm face, a, a quiet face, a spiritual face, and overall just a graceful image. As a child, I would remember just seeing my father always in the studio. I'd go eat, I'd go sleep, I'd um, play with my friends, and he'd continue to be in the studio. I realized as a small child that what he was doing was very important. There's a saying, uh, la manzana no cae muy lejos del troncón. Uh, the apple doesn't fall too far from the trunk of the tree. And I think this applies to, to my son Joseph and to my daughter Krissa. They followed in my footsteps and are now creating religious images like, like I am. As he was a teacher of high school students, he was very much a teacher at home also. And he would sit us down, my brother and I, and he would um, instruct us how to do these images and why to do these images we learned a very important part of our history. In, in carving uh, a santo, it's, it's a journey. You don't know where it's going to lead you. This work, for example, started out as two separate pieces, St. Francis standing upright carved by Felix and the image of death on his cart created by his son. I got the idea one, one day of actually placing St. Francis inside the carreta, looking directly at the image of death. Because after all, he died and uh, he had to contemplate death be before uh, passing on. Being a Santero has been a calling uh, a vocation from God, and I'm very thankful to Him for giving me this opportunity to create spiritual images that can help people.
people in their spiritual lives or simply can be enjoyed by anyone if they only see it as a work of art.